Hi, my name is Brad Brisky. We're in Santa Cruz, California. We just picked up this fish at the harbor this morning. We're gonna do a really simple whole roasted petrali sole. So we're gonna have to remove its intestines, which is gonna be a little bit messy, but nothing that uh, should keep you away from eating it. So kind of on the underside, just the, the white side of a fish like this, we're gonna just get a little messy, put our hand in there and pull it out. To make it a little simpler to enjoy, we're gonna just score this fish so lightly. So we'll make a little incision just above the head. We'll do a little incision down the middle. And then some people will kind of trim or even cut the fins off with scissors I've seen. That'll kind of maybe help it on a plate if you don't have a big enough plate. They actually kind of like get nice and crisp and burned in the oven like that too. And it's a little easier to come off. So that's pretty nice. Do a little incision at the tail here, and after we roast it, it'll just help those two fillets to peel right off. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Um, just a little incision, just kind of on the top part of the head, and then another one down the middle, and another one along the fins, and here, and here, and again, that's just gonna kind of help it cook and allow a bunch of that goodness to kind of get in there, so that's our fish. Here we have a baking tray, so we'll use a little bit of butter. We have some aromatics that we uh, picked from the garden too, and this will kind of help the fish not stick. This is a little bit of rosemary, there's a little bit of thyme. This is um, a lovage herb, kind of celery. You can even tuck in these lemon leaves, will be pretty aromatic too. So now we have a little nest for the fish to kind of rest on. This is a California 100% olive oil, a little bit of sea salt, and a little extra butter on the top. Now we have our sole ready to go in the oven. So this is a pretty, pretty thin fish. Most standard household ovens can go up to 500 degrees. We're gonna roast this one at 500 degrees and it should take about 12 to 15 minutes. While we're waiting for our fish in the oven, we're just gonna assemble a really simple sauce. We're gonna start with some butter. We're gonna start with some capers. The acidity and the vinegar, the sweetness of the tomato makes a really nice balance for a fish dish. So I like using the, the vinegar instead of lemon. We're gonna add our tomatoes to the butter and let those guys all kind of fry together with a splash of golden balsamic vinegar. And this is gonna take five or six minutes. All right, so we'll start right there. We're just gonna grab enough stuff to make one little simple salad, get some mint, get some bronze fennel. These are really nice little cilantro flowers past their prime, but it has a nice little effervescence to it. We can use a little bit of this wild arugula here. It's pretty nice. Just saying these little arugula flowers look real good. We'll grab a little basil down here by the tomatoes. Pretty soon we'll be able to use our tomatoes from the garden to make this dish. This is some Thai basil. There's a nice little marigold that'll look real pretty on there. It's a very kind of summertime fish dish. So we're, you know, tomatoes, basil. Oh, look at that monster. Here's like a perfect garden cucumber. This is looking like the start of a good little garnish for the fish. Oh, let's grab one more lemon. That one looks good. Anyway, good looking lemon. And just to finish our butter sauce, we'll grab a little more fresh thyme. There we go. All right, so we're back, back from our garden adventure. Let's just check our sauce here. We yeah, have still starting to kind of reduce down a little bit. Just letting the tomatoes go. They'll release their moisture. It'll keep cooking up. This is kind of fun. Leave some of the bitterness on. Bit of olive oil but not too much because we're gonna do a butter sauce on top of the fish. Now that our butter is starting to kind of come together and we'll add a little bit of wine. Maybe let it sit for another minute and then we'll pull it off the heat. And there's our timer. Kind of check up here by the top of the neck and it looks like it's rice nice and cooked all the way through the bone there. So pulled our butter sauce off at the end and we're gonna finish it with just a little bit of this fresh thyme and a little black pepper. And give that a little swirl. Garden herb salad. We do something like this where it almost hides the head but not quite. And that is our finished summer whole roasted petrali sole with 
garden salad and a cherry tomato golden balsamic caper butter. 